Before Janet started working on early childhood, many people would tell her, well, that's interesting, but that's not really economics. And if it's economics, it's not labor economics. What's amazing about Janet's research is the breadth of data and the analytical skills she brings to answer those policy questions and those relevant questions. She makes it a point of sort of understanding the trends across time, thinking about how to dissect causation in a more precise way, because once we sort of understand the causal chain, we could also sort of understand how to formulate policies to address those problems. I became interested in studying children when I realized that we have many social programs essentially that are directed at helping children, but we had very little evaluation of which ones were working and how well they were working. A lot of my work has been done using what I call administrative data. And what that means usually is data that's being collected for some bureaucratic reason. An example of that would be birth certificates. The Easy Pass study was part of a suite of studies that were trying to show the effect of pollution on infant health. Easy Pass came up because by helping cars go through at highway speed reduces the amount of pollution around toll plazas. So what we ended up doing was saying, okay, let's take people who all live along a highway and compare the ones who are living really close to the toll plaza with ones who are living just a, a bit further away from the toll plaza. And so then what you see is that before, the people who are living near the toll plaza have worse birth outcomes. How do we know what their birth outcomes are? We look at the birth certificate data and we can see on average their babies were lower birth weight and also more likely to be premature. And then we see that after the toll plaza converts to easy pass and we have less pollution, all of a sudden those people look the same as the other people who are living along the highway. So that shows the impact of the pollution that they were being subjected to. And so that has helped to cause tighter standards on pollutants like particulates. Janet's research has had impact on both the academic and theoretical fields of economics and also and labor economics and also on policy. Janet was very persistent and tenacious in continuing to make the argument that if we invest in children's health, then children will be ready to learn when they go to school. And if they learn at school, they'll be ready to contribute in the workforce to productivity. When the Head Start program was founded, the hope was that it would prepare disadvantaged children so that when they started school, they wouldn't fall behind. That makes a lot of sense because there are enormous gaps between children before they ever get to kindergarten. So the idea was to remediate some of those gaps. Now, the initial research was kind of discouraging and what they would see was that, well, there was an initial boost in the PES scores, but then by about third grade, they didn't see any difference between treatment kids and control kids. In my work on the subject, I found several interesting things. So one was that if you looked by race, you saw fade out in the test scores for black children, but not for white children. I showed subsequently that that probably had to do with the kind of schools that they were attending afterwards. That was actually a really important finding given the previous research that was only focused on these test scores. But then when you follow the kids for longer, you do see that they're more likely to stay in school, they're more likely to get higher education, and they have better outcomes. These findings were used to justify expanding the Head Start program and also starting state programs. Janet's work allows us as the policy-making community to think more critically about what are the right policy outcomes. 
She's very passionate about what she's working on. She knows where we're headed as a society is really gonna be contingent upon the investments we're making today. She sees that there must be some level of injustice, if you may, or there's room for improvement, and she takes it upon herself to then formulate that right research question, mobilize the right research tools and teams to answer those questions effectively. I am thrilled about this award because it really frees me to just do the research that I want to do. Another great thing about this award is that I'm going to be able to help train a new generation of researchers. I have graduate students, I have undergraduates, I have postdoctoral fellows, and they're doing the next generation of research. So it's great to offer training, offer help, write papers with people, and then get them launched and then see what they can do. Janet has really been a pioneer in bringing in the data that's needed to answer the important questions. Don't use what's available only in the easy data sets and build a research agenda around that, but instead think about what do you care about and what are the questions that you want to answer, and that might mean being, becoming very creative and collecting your own data.